mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building? Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Hey, do you is this yours? Know Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Something wild and exciting, like go to the big city. Have you ever won a spell? what time it is! Yep, time for a beatdown! Get the new kid! Beat him down!
Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in there. Go fight back. Just a soda machine. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that, ass wipe. Might as well kick my head in too. Never doing aerobics again. You should Lick probably change sugar. into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Just like eating 28 cubes of sugar. I've been thinking a lot about snails recently. They're slimy. How you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn, Petey. He'll cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. That'll be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. 
<laughs> Here comes Jenny. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> Come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunate. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on Shut campus. Up. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used some... Well, it's quiet, Carl, because I wasn't talking. I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. I'll up it in a second when I get the chance. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Back! Or what? Or, well, just give it back! Are you threatening me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back! You can't just steal things from me! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Chow spotty. Give it back! And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. I see you undressing me with your eyes, sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes, it's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll... I'll kiss you. Oh, uh, that's okay. Well, okay, but... If you don't, I'll tell the whole school you're some kind of sad sicko who spies on girls getting changed in their dorm. Relax. One set of lab notes coming up. I'll be right there. Just have to get something from my locker. You won't get away with that. Oh, my God! Oh, God. Don't get gone on the corner. Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. Hope you don't mind. I don't care if Beatrice now likes me. Easier. Move, nerd. Oh. <laughs> How original. <laughs> Call me a nerd. What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me! Alright, you have fun. Oh, What's oh, this? No. Class... <laughs> Press... Den. Class President, dummy. It says Class President. I don't know. That's you? I'm the most suitable candidate I know! <laughs> yeah, so is your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, oh! Don't forget to wipe! <laughs> How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What if I pay you? 
pay me. Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. <laughs> yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote, you're never gonna win. Because they are definitely gonna ruin your speech at the debate. Oh, oh. oh. unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, 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 I don't please, know. Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. Wait, what do I have to do now? Go to the auditorium balcony. Speech is about to begin. Ah, oh, that's right. I gotta use my swing slingshot for all this. Welcome. So I won't name. mince words, my friends. This school you needs suck. help. I'm gonna kick your ass. See? Told you you was a weakling. <laughs> You're puny. My help. Scrawny little puke. How many of you out there feel Why do you even used try? by society? Let <laughs> down by the Hey, stop, stop, stop it! it. Job artist, sit on this, you freak. Brutalized. I feel you your suck. pain, my children. Worthless. Do not despair. Salvation is here, my friends. Loser. Don't get harassed. By choosing me as your leader, you suck. We will usher in a new. Ow! Why is this happening? You want me to breathe on you? Gone. Give him a chance. I'm gonna make you swallow this. Ooh. Lackluster teaching. Gone. Why do you even try? Physical education. Gone. <laughs> Bullworth will be the model for a pure academic curriculum. Money no longer wasted. Silly musicals or crap. Hey, My opponent would have you wine. believe that sports I'm gonna make you swallow are more this. meaningful for your future. Sit on this, you prick. Then the decent hey, textbooks hey. and competent teachers. What I'm have sports done for hey. you? Except. See? Told you he was a weakling. Cause pain and misery. You beat on you? While my opponent may also be more popular, good looking you and suck. muscular. What's up, maggot? And have the attention of the school bimbos. Ouch! Come here with you, huh? just not right! Do you like this, you prick? He just doesn't have Ouch! Why do you this even try? Tolerable! Your door. I don't. Ow! Sit on this, you freak. Ouch! This is intolerant. I've been beat up just as much as you. It's time to change. I'm panicking. Hey, stop it! A vote for Ernest means a vote for. Don't mess with me. In closing, remember. A vote for E means a vote for me. Thank you, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Sounds like Stephen Hawking's in the audience. Oh, the super slingshot. That's even better. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah? Really? <laughs> yeah. Cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. 
What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party, and the teachers are entertaining. I use that word loosely. The kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice costume. Guys, Stop I look like a jerk. About guys. No, you look fine. Don't be a baby. until I die. You cannot harm me, for I am wearing my rings of protection. You're dead. <laughs> Just like you know, it's super you doing it working for you. You're great. Ah! <laughs> like How do I uh, light this again? I wasn't paying attention. being tortured for five years. I'm gonna be rich one day. Jimmy, I need what your up? help. Thanks. Do you yeah, think you might game. help me out with something? I cheat. found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time Tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me. Look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never going to be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Oh, 
Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole, the place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Now, nah, here we go. <laughs> Where do all these people come from? Jerk! Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school, and you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. <laughs> With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, threw me in the gym. God damn it. 
I told you I'd bring you down. All right, you feckless maggots. We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while. Ah, dodgeball. How I love the sound of boys crying in the morning. Much like real life, the strongest will prevail. All right, you lazy bums, look alive! I want everyone to give their best, boys. And what's got a plastic best. trophy for getting so many out people out in dodgeball tournament? I remember back in elementary school. I knew you were a loser. Then you have a chance. Too, huh? Don't mind me. You're still gonna lose, Mustard Steen? Yes. I'm sensitive. Leave me alone. We beat you, and we're richer than you. How does that make you feel? Again? Why am I put on the nerd side? Why we ain't got the power of friendship behind our team. But try not to lose nothing this time, guys. You're pretty dumb for trying this, loser. This is my time to shine, so just know that. I'll just now hit him I'll off the head. You. My mom says I'll win. <laughs> you are going to be left in the dust. Sorry, pal. You. That was my that bad. That felt funny. I'm going to tell on you. Who do you think you are? You're pretty dumb for trying to I'm not afraid loser. of you, loser brain! You better be ready to lose, because I'm, I'm ready to win! Save yourselves the humiliation! Who's oh. on top? We are on top! You guys top. don't have a hope in heck of winning! You don't have a chance against me! <laughs> we did it! We sure, won! This is the only victory you'll ever win in life! We'll yes. try to take it easy on you guys. You better I'm be ready to lose, because I'm ready to win. You just bumped into You're me. You're outclassed ah. and outmatched. You don't have a chance. I knew you were a loser, it's but you're still to teach too, those huh? rogues a lesson. You're still gonna lose, Mustard Good Steen. Work, team, kudos. Performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> oh. Um... You better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense. There are no fussy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month. Do, 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 do. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not gonna torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me! So hurry up because I want to be first! Oh man. Meh, 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 All meh, right. meh. I don't 
see why Darby doesn't want to ally with the job. Clear the line for Pinky without using any violence. Steal Gord's bike to lure him away. Wheelies on him, wheelies on him, wheelies on him, wheelies on him. It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. If I thought I'm sure this year will be much better than last. Did you get the chocolate? Where am I going right She's now? got the hots from me, I know it. Hope you appreciate them. Ugh. Thanks a bunch, Jimmy! I swear oh, you're hell no. How creepy is I that? Smell creep food. That is unbelievably disgusting! You're telling me it is. Ugh. Mm. My legs hurt. Yeah, it's all that extra weight. I'm cutting this part out. I'll remember this forever. Well, as long as it gets you out of the line. Cool. Things are going to be different. I know. <laughs> I just want to play sports. That's all. That's great, Jimmy. If only you'd been born into my social circle. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. Smooth, Jimmy. Smooth. That's it? Yeah, oh, that's it. Oh, Carnival Day. Alright. Well, okay, maybe that's not it. So, this is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you like flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened. Like, he like he's dead. dead. Because otherwise, there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin, and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great! You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice aquaberry sweater, Trey Sheets. Yeah. Wow, you look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough yeah, about yeah, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old Soap Galloway. A chap can have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> So, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no, I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old Kaja's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins. Is it true you said I was inbred? No. Because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. 
You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You... You've been rude about mommy! Let's get this, Papa! Yeah, thanks, uh, what's his name? Oh well, I guess I must beat you. You are a pathetic fighter. I'm an excellent you boxer, you know. You cremation! I'll make you pay for this for the rest of your life. I learned this move from my... I bet you like Oh, hang on to that. Oh, eggs are now available in my room. Great. Just what I wanted. Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Merry Christmas. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now feed it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Wasp! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. Okay, that's enough information. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. <laughs> Ugh, this is terrible. Hey, Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. Oh, my luck! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. Ha! Where's the perfume? Right here. <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to drink thanks. that. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah! What's in it for me? Ha! 
I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> For you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. subject of chemistry could quite affect a young woman. Oh, yes, me Let's too. Hobby. I imagine they'd be constantly thinking about your bald head. Beats of sweat on yeah, your forehead. You're a scientist. You Beats should be able to... so snuggly to your backside. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, sounds like you've, uh, given it some thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Coffee is getting cold, Watsy. Drink it all. It's good Why are you stuff. Yeah, Whoa, you're a scientist. A you should I... It must be the fumes from the lab. Yeah, that's probably it. Have some more coffee. I'm feeling not good. Oh, I better go. She's gonna rape him. Great. So you came? Yep. I bet you think I'm funny, don't you? A laughing stock? Not really. I mean, you dress a little weird, but. Yeah, and everyone is laughing at me. All of you at me! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Have you had her? Who are you talking about? I bet you have. Have you had what her? What are you doing? Who? Lola! That slut! That slut I love. No, man! She's cheating on me, man. I know she is. The little slut. Oh, it's killing me. Me, dying over abroad? Oh, man, I knew this was coming. What are you talking about? She's with that rich kid, Gord. I know she is. How do you know? Will you find out for me? I can't take the suspense. Look, meet me at the underpass near New Coventry tonight. We'll get evidence. Bring a camera, and then we'll settle this once and for all. Here are the pictures, Johnny. Lola's a bit of a slut, it I seems. knew it! I just knew it! There 
there was never any doubt. Rob the thrift shop. What's this gourd kid got that I ain't got? Uh, nothing. You think it's funny, don't you? You think I'm a joke? Well, my little friend, I'm the king around here. Me! I know. You're the king. But my queen is a slut, and now everybody's laughing at me. Well, not anymore. I'm not laughing. Good. Good, kid. You and me, we're gonna teach young gourd to keep his dirty paws off my woman. My queen. Get him to the abandoned building in New Coventry behind Union Hall. I'll be waiting there to school that little weasel. I'll be there. Well, hello, Gord. Seems like you've been messing where you ought not. No, cousins are legal. Oh, you mean Lola? Yeah, my woman. Now you pay! You better, not play. You better be insured! some of that burning hatred out of my system. Here's your cash. Now scram. Amigo! I need your help! Amigo? Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. That guy's gone even crazier. He thinks algae is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algae? And Lola? I know! It's crazy! Everyone knows algae likes blondes. Listen. Find Algy and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. Um, unimportant, but all right. Algie, you're in so much trouble with Johnny Vincent and his boys. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my father. But Lola! I thought that me and you... Up. That's so... Big bones, not to that. I thought you liked me. You said you did. I do. I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, no, no. Oh, but... Oh, 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 wait. Ass. Ridiculous women. Oh, look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought you liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. You both better get over it. Listen, we gotta get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging out with his girlfriend. Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, you better pedal for both of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. But, uh, but, I was just helping Lola study, honestly. I'm so scared. What? Well, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go find him. On those bikes! Is that algae? On a girl's bike? Here they come! I'll hold them off! Just try not to crash into anything, Chad! One down!
I'm getting tired. Give me a minute to catch my breath. You! It's a trap! It's a trap! Chad, step on it! Oh, damn. We're nearly there, Jimmy. Just hold them off a little longer. Who messed my bike up? You can thank me You're for saving you later, but I seriously right can't be seen with you losers. You're worried about your reputation? <laughs> oh, wonderful! You found him! Good job, Jimmy. You do have your uses after all. Well, thanks for all the help, Jimmy. Perhaps you could come over to the observatory and play a game or two of Grottos and Gremlins with us sometime. Um, no. Huh, there he is, my hero. What's your problem now? If you really cared about me, you'd fight for me. First of all, I'm not sure I really care about you. Oh. And second, <laughs> what do you think I've been doing? Tad fights for me, Gord fights for me, Johnny, well... He certainly fights for me. In fact, they're all about to fight for me. Right now. Everyone apart from you. Who's fighting? Tad and all the rich kids are coming here to fight Johnny and his boys. All because of me. I'm like Helen of Troy. So there's gonna be a big fight? A winner-take-all sort of thing? Yes. Everyone's involved apart from you. I'm Helen of Troy, and you're more interested in boys called Troy. Whatever. See you later. Look around for Peanut. Who the hell's Peanut? Oh, this doesn't look good. All right. I wanted to buy more cola, but open my ass. so I can finish him off. I know where he is, but I ain't telling you nothing. Let's see you. Open wide. You're cruising.
Do, 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 do. Who won? Me, Jimmy Hopkins. That's who. Who won? You. Who? Jimmy Hopkins. Correct. That's right, ladies. Me. I'm the daddy now. You treacherous little snake. You think you're tough, huh? You don't need any more of this, Johnny. You laugh at me? You turn on me? You get it on with that harlot who I... I love? Oh, I'm gonna destroy you! All right, calm down, man. It's cool. You lost. No big deal. We can all be friends. You're done, kid. Finished! Uh, another boss fight already. You'll learn to keep your hands off my girl! Get out of here! The cop! You're lucky, Jimmy. I'll kick your ass later. Stop! I'm an officer of the law! Get back here! Oh, what is this? Happy days, happy days. They haven't run down any of the greasers yet. That's one way to land. Hey, Jimmy, let me get to the crane. Hey, come close. All right, boys, good work. I got it's like you can see right through my computer screen. There we go. First try. First try. I told you. I was the daddy. Got it? I'm in charge. You do what I said. All right. I give up. You can have her. Who? What are you talking about, Johnny? Lola. You win. She's yours. This has nothing to do with her, man. I don't care. You can keep that slut for yourself. What? You don't want her? Then why did you do this? Why'd you fight? Just to prove you're tougher than me? That's right. And don't you or your boys forget it. I'm tougher than you, so maybe now you'll stop bullying everyone. You work for me now. Oh, man. I'm going to feel pretty good about myself. I've just taken control of two of the school's worst cliques, but I know there are bigger problems just around the corner. Problems with overdeveloped pituitary glands. Well, have you met uh, Gary yet, by Omega Bear? Gary's much worse. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? I'm messing with you. <sighs> Real funny, Jimmy. Well, when you're done with this place, a career on the stage awaits. Maybe, maybe like a male stripper or something, huh? What? <clears throat> so, um, what about Gary? I haven't seen him. But whenever I hear somebody say I used to be a girl and had a sex change, or that my mother slept with Crabble Snitch to get me in here, I think to myself, Gary, Gary what a jerk. You don't even call me a dork. Well, I guess he's not always wrong. Is that what you really think? <sighs> Whatever, Jimmy. You know, I stand up for you, and you still think I'm a dork. You're a jerk, and you're a dork, so we're equal. Whatever. I'm leaving. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe next time you'll watch where you're going. What'd you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry, Psycho. Did uh -oh. I hit your boyfriend? Yes, yeah, Psycho. You gonna try to kick our asses now? No, I think I'll do that more publicly. Ooh, I'm really scared right now. Really Ooh. scared. I take down oh. linebackers every day, pal. Oh. Whatever, pretty boy. You'll get yours. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Ooh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. Losers. Petey, get up. Jimmy, Jimmy, I think we found some new people to have some fun with. <laughs> 